Hey guys, this is Drew. Welcome back to Beyond Seclusion. Interesting question for you. How many of you have ever been tandemized? That doesn't sound good, does it? Unless you're talking about a Ruger Mark IV 2245. And in that case, getting tandemized is a good thing. Anyway, I discovered a company called Tandem Cross. They, they basically are a company, as they would say, we don't make guns, we make guns better. And so, of course, I had to check them out, Curiosity, and I got this, this Ruger Mark IV, you know, and it was a fun shooter. Um, there was a couple things, you know, the trigger, mm, definitely needed to uh, improve that. But, you know, it already comes in this, like, super cool, the light version I'm like, I want, I want to trick this thing out. So I got a hold of Tandem Cross, and what we did was we outfitted this. I mean, we tricked this thing out, and that's called Tandemized. So this is Tandemized. Let's go through what we Tandemized on this. The first is this compensator. Now, I know a lot of you are thinking, why would you need a comp on a 22 long rifle? Actually, that's a really good question. And Tandem Cross did their own little research. Um, check it out. It shows that the muzzle rise, and they did it very scientifically, is decreased. If you're shooting competition or you're going for rapid shooting, it makes a big difference. I do like it. Um, I do think it increases the accuracy and follow-up shots. The next one, and I'm kind of going in order of what I prioritize or what I really like is this Halo charging handle extension. Um, this thing is awesome. Okay, you can see it up close here. I mean, it just makes it so quick and easy to grab and pull. You can get all of this stuff for pretty much any of the Ruger Mark IVs. So even if you don't want to spend the coin to get the 2245 light, you know, which is pushing 400 bucks, you can get, I found entry level Ruger Mark IVs, just the standard, which is a great shooting pistol. It has the benefits of this because it breaks down easy and then you could tandemize it. In fact, if you did that minus these cutouts, you're really going to get the same gun. And that's probably, I think, a better option because you're going to replace a lot of this stuff. Anyway, the next one on there is the trigger. This is the Victory Trigger, and it has got multiple options. Now, I don't want to take away from Tandem Cross. The best thing to do, I would say, before purchasing this is go there and watch the videos. Also, watch the videos on how to install because some of you are not mechanically inclined and you shouldn't be disassembling your gun. Others, you're great. Watch the video, see what's gonna be involved with the disassembly before you purchase it to decide, yeah, I can do that, no problem. It does require, for some of these, you know, obviously the comp, the halo, uh, no. The trigger, and then a few like the safety. Eh. What I love with Tandem Cross, okay, and I'm jumping around because I love this company. They are a small company, and they are family-based. I mean, for me, they just represent American values. Now, some of you, this might put off. They got, I assume it's one of the owner's daughters doing an install. Hey, everybody. And we're the Collier Gun Girls. The Tanner Cross flat face trigger allows for consistent finger placement, better control. The flat surface also offers a lower leverage point compared to the standard. I think it's great. I absolutely love it. Getting the kids involved. This young lady does a fantastic job. I love her French nails. <laughs> if she can do it, you can do it. Okay, and maybe that was the intent was showing that, you know, 11, 12 year old girl can do this. By gosh, you should be able to do it too. Now, with that said, uh, I think she's a lot smarter than a lot of us. It can be difficult at times, but it's doable, very doable with no gunsmithing tools 
or anything like that needed. Now the victory trigger is adjustable in every way, pre-travel, reset, all that other than poundage. We cannot adjust the actual trigger pull weight, but you don't need to. It is very nice and crisp and clean. Okay, so anyway, back to the trigger. The factory trigger, I'm sorry, it sucked, in my opinion, for what I was paying for. Now with this, that changed it to a nice, crisp trigger. Let's do it again here. No travel, zero, none. Crisp, clean, break. I didn't measure it, I don't need to. And then the reset. Now what's nice is we have a screw up in here and I can adjust that. I have it adjusted so that I can totally let it out and it actually went back to the very exact spot where it broke so I can, I can take my trigger off. I don't have to focus on having it and letting it out. I can just let go and it's exactly where it would be if I did it slow. Does that make sense? Okay. It also has awesome texture to it. Love the Victory Trigger. The next one is the Titan Mag Release. Now this thing, I have a great big paddle here. Whoa! And it works great. When I'm holding it, my thumb is right there. So I can just push it and drop it out for incredibly fast. Now, some of you might be thinking, and it could potentially be a problem if I'm squeezing and dropping it, they also give me the option of putting a little circle on here, which is not going to extend over so that my thumb is resting on it. And so you have a couple of different options. The next one is the Cornerstone Safety Thumb Ledge. It's right here. It's the safety, but my thumb just sits on it and it's perfect. And as I'm pushing down, that's pushing it off safety. Then I can easily flick it up with my thumb and then put it down and it puts your hands in perfect alignment for shooting. I like Next it. one, and I really do feel like this is a must, the sights. That was the other thing that I really didn't care about the factory Ruger was the sights. I've got some Williams fire sights, which you can get. Now, TK came up with a peep sight that you can replace on there. So you can go either way. I haven't shot it. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna like it. I think it is a cool idea. I love peep sights. It does make for quick target acquisition. Now another thing with the Ruger factory is you cannot pull the trigger without the mag. And I don't know why that would be a big deal. Um, it does trip me up a lot when I'm testing triggers and stuff. I'm, I'm having to take the mag in and out and in and out. Anyway, they have the, oh, what the heck's it called? The Blast Shield Mag Disconnector Replacement. One of the other things, advantages that it does is, is it also shields your hammer and some of the internal components from, from debris, but it just makes it easier for cocking, decocking, testing the trigger. And I'll show you here, you can see it down inside. And again, this is where it required a little bit of uh, mechanical know-how. Now I will say Tandem Cross has awesome videos. They are really good. One of the videos, I'm following it and all the stuff flies out. And I'm like, man, you gotta be kidding. And he's putting it back together and I'm like, really guys? Okay, so what happens when the stuff flies out? You needed to do a video on that. And about as soon as I finished the thought, <laughs> the video's going and he says, now, if the components fly out, Let's walk back here and reinstall all of them. Oh, hey, that was a great idea. And then we put them all back in, and away we went. It was working good. We've got the Hive, what is it, the G10 grips. Yeah, they look cool. We have tandemized this gun. This gun. Comfort. Yeah, they are comfortable. I, I like them better than the factory. Is this like way up at the top of my list for replacements. Nah, 
you know, for me, it, it's actually more of a aesthetic, cool thing. You know, the Halo, absolute trigger, absolute comp, sights. Um, yeah, most of these. This one, more aesthetic and cool factor. Now, if you check out the site, every now and then, they'll throw a bunch of these together in a kit, and that's going to be your best bet. The kits are not there, to, to my understanding, talking with them, they're not there all the time. So sometimes they come and sometimes they go. Now, the red race gun kit that I got did have these different um, shoes for the bottom of the mag. I'm not really sure what uh, function it's going to have for me. I like it. Uh, it fits better in the gun. Again, is this one that would be high up on my list that, you know, oh, you've got to get this? Nah, but if it comes in a kit, bonus. Okay, now quick note, they do not sell guns. According to YouTube policy, I should be able to put all the links, direct links, in the description. I talked to Tandem Cross and they said, no go. That YouTube flags that. So I don't even want to mess with a strike or being flagged. So Gun Streamer, I've moved over there. You go to Gun Streamer, I'll have all these put in the description, direct links, or you can go to my webpage and I'll have all the direct links there. Hey, bonus, I just discovered that Amazon actually carries quite a bit of the Tandem Cross. So I went and created a Tandem Cross page on my webpage. So that I can put in the description. You can go there and you can find uh, probably at least half of these products. So I've been hanging on to this like a kid at Christmas for weeks now. We've been locked in snow and ice. And I just decided today it's not very good for videoing because of the wind, but I had to go outside. I put about 100 rounds through it. I absolutely love it. And um, every single thing that I added on here, I like. I love the site. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about that peep sight. Now, that was both eyes open with a peep sight. Um, yeah, I'm sold. I really, really like it. It's quick. It's easy. And again, a compensator on a 22, most of you would be like, really? It's like shooting a cap gun. I mean... With the comp on there, there's absolutely no recoil. You can just sit there and pound them one after another and stay right on target. Um, the safety switch here, I like being able to put my thumb up there. I love it. It's kind of something I've been needing to work on. Anyway, a high thumb grip. The Halo, I mean, that one's just, that's a no-brainer. Love the Halo. The mag release, I haven't had any issues with it. If I was speed shooting and reloading, I would absolutely love this. Now, the Victory Trigger. I like it, guys. I really do like it. It's crisp. It's clean. It's huge improvement over the factory. There is a drawback, though. The edges here are a little bit sharp, and they started wearing on my finger. So I just took a little file, and I kind of smoothed those off. The only downside to that is, is it gets rid of a little bit of the red, and now you see a little bit of the silver. So, you know, I guess one feedback that I would give to TK is maybe before the, you know, whatever the dyeing or the painting on this, I would try to smooth those at least on the sides a little bit because, you know, if I was shooting all day competition, you know, that's after about 100 rounds. Anyway, the hive grip, you know, I thought, okay, aesthetically, it looks really cool. I really do like it. it. It is super comfortable. You combine all this stuff, and it took a great gun, the Ruger Mark IV, the 2245, and it, to me, in my opinion, took it to a whole nother level. Now I do feel like I could compete with this. 
I, I honestly didn't as it was, um, mostly with the trigger. All these other little accessories, you know, I don't know if it's just a psychological, uh, but it is, it's a lot more enjoyable to shoot. I feel like it's a lot more controllable and a lot more accurate. Okay, I think I got this sighted in pretty good. Let's just try it here at 50. This pistol has been tandemized. It has been transformed. All right, so we're having really good luck at 50 yards. I wanna see how fast, with the trigger and with the comp, how fast I can empty this and keep it on target. Now one thing I like with this peep sight is you can you can almost do both eyes open. So I'm gonna try both eyes open here, single-handed. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, now we're just gonna try some of the little spinners. When it comes to pistols, I really don't find the little spinners that much fun. For me, that's more of a rifle thing. When it comes to pistols, I just kind of like, you know, a center mass target and speed shooting. Now, that was both eyes open with a peep sight. Okay guys, this is the last mag. It's cold out. My hands are starting to get numb. We're at 24 feet here. Let's see how fast we can go if I can get them all on target. Never fails with 22. You get those light primer strikes. I'm using Federal. Anyway, I love this. I love the tandemization of the Ruger Mark IV 2245. Everything on here I would get without hesitation on this. Anyway, I hope you liked. I hope you found it helpful. Be sure to like, comment, and sub. If you haven't checked us out on GunStreamer, check us out. We're also doing a free giveaway, giving away some swag. Until next time, guys, happy shooting, be safe, stay warm, which is where I'm going here in just a second. And remember, gun control starts with you and me.